Start by checking the labels on your bottles of solution to make sure that they are in date and that they are what you expect they will be, which should be water for injection for this part of the station. You can then twist off the caps and put these to the side out of the way. Next, you need to open up your 20ml syringe, but leave it in the packet for now so that it stays sterile. You can then open up your first plump fill needle and attach this to the syringe. You can attach it with a slight twist and then remove the needle cap by pulling straight outwards. You can then fill the syringe with 20ml of the water for injection. It is acceptable to use the same needle for both bottles as you're drawing up the same solution into one syringe. You then need to immediately dispose of your needle into a sharps bin to ensure proper sharp safety. The syringe can go back into its packet to keep it sterile for now. Next, check the label of your Kermoxiclav bottle to make sure that it is in date and that it is definitely Kermoxiclav. Remove the cap and open up your wipe ready to clean the rubber part at the top of the bottle. You need to open your wipe out fully and clean for 20 seconds before letting it dry for 30 seconds. You can then open up your second blunt fill needle and attach it to the syringe. Again, attach with a slight twist and remove the needle cap by pulling straight out. You then pass the needle through the rubber part of the bottle and inject the first 10 ml of the solution into the powder. You then need to shake the bottle to dissolve. Check that the powder is completely dissolved before injecting some of the air from the syringe into the bottle. When you then withdraw the needle slightly into the solution, it should allow the syringe to self-fill. You can then withdraw the last bits of solution just by pulling back on the plunger with the needle in the solution. Put your Kermoxiclav bottle into the tray ready for the patient bedside and remove your sharp immediately, putting it into the sharp spin. You can then label your syringe with the appropriate sticker and put it back into its packet and into the tray so that it stays sterile.